Hi Aries, it's Elle here to do your uh, mid-March 2018 reading. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all those who subscribe to the channel. Likes, shares, comments, all of that stuff. It's much appreciated. I want to take that one because it fell. Um, face down, page of fire. Let's get started. We'll save the announcements till the end. All right, page of what? What the heck is going on, Aries? Page of Fire, Messages, Temptation, Page of Water, Wow, Page of Earth, and then the Chariot. Okay, so some of you have received or will receive a message. This message, it causes you to um, have some type of action or, or some type of reaction to the message. Um, it's tempting. That's what it is. Um, it may be tied in codependency and someone just not being the best person for you with, with the, um, devil card here. They, a third party might be tied to this message in some fashion. It could be in business, romance. Um, then there's a page of water. It's like they give you a message of passion. They might say something, you know, off the wall. So, you know, it's full of passion. And then they give you a message of love, something loving, something that warms your heart. And then the message of, you know, material, of page of earth, message of uh, stability. It could be from a cancer. You could be dealing with, some of you could be dealing with a cancer directly. If not a cancer, it's just that um, forward movement will happen after all of these messages. I feel as if they're coming from the same person, Aries. You might have an admirer, an admirer that shouldn't be your admirer with that devil card there. It might be some history there. Uh, they may be trying to come back, Aries. All right, let's see. Let's see what else we can get here. We're starting out with love first, and then we'll jump into career and finance and home. All right, messages of love for Aries. Messages of love for Aries. What's going on with the Aries and love? Messages of love. Messages of love. Ten of air. Some of you have been through the ringer. You've been through a lot in a situation. Uh, the tower. It's ending. It has ended. Um, ten of ten of air. Ten of swords. Some of you been backstabbed and betrayed. You feel this way after the Tower Ace of Earth. Mm. But then there's a new foundational start if you take to it. For you, Aries, the Emperor card is here. It looks like something had to be broken down so it could be built back up or a new offer could come in. Oh, wow. Okay. Nine of air. You don't know you should take to it, the moon, wow, because you don't know the outcome, the magician. You don't know if there's manipulation in the midst of queen of earth. You could be dealing with the Capricorn Virgo Taurus. Virgo is here. Scorpio is here. Pisces is here. Aquarius, Gemini is here. Then you show up. The tower is here. There's a lot of major arcana here, which tells me that this situation is out of your hands. Something had to end or be broken down so that newness or the offer of newness, Ace of Earth, could happen for you, Aries, and so that you can get back in control. The Emperor is about control also. This could be with a father figure, or you could be a father figure, Aries, or this could be a romantic partner for you, too. This could be Taurus also. Um, offering something stable. You don't know if you should take to it. There's a lot of unknown here with the moon. There might be some secrets and outright lies. But someone manifests this. Either you, Aries, or someone else. Uh, I'm hearing that they say, they say they changed. Transformation. 
which with this death card here and someone saying that they change it makes you go within you're trying to figure out what to do which way to go how do you move you're trying to gain clarity and make a solid decision as the queen of earth or if this is not you this is a capricorn virgo taurus in the midst of all of this because six of swords at the bottom of the deck you do want to move away from chaos confusion turbulence into more a more calm and peaceful state of being because there's no peace here with the ten and the nine of the air all right if that didn't resonate with you let's pull let's get some more cards it looks like something really major is coming in for you aries it looks like paradigms and negative paradigms and negative way of thinking have to be dispelled and you know put away and and, and and broken so you can understand what you have or who you have and so that they can offer something solid and stable to you and maybe you could be receptive to it could be a capricorn virgo taurus all right here we go. Transformation again. Death. There's an ending and then a new beginning. Wow, that gives you victory. If some, if you let something else in, a uh, new begin. Ace of Water. Wow, can begin for you. Five of Water. Go ahead. Five of Air. There's so much change here. With change, you need to grieve whatever has changed. There might be a little bit of indecision or inner conflict with the five of fire but move past it we've got the queen of air and the sun card some of you can be dealing with a gemini libra aquarius this is typically gemini for me the sun is here saying oh wow and then at the bottom of the deck the two of water whatever this is it's positive. It's loving. There's love here. Eighth of water, two of water, the sun, six of fire. Some of you need to get strong enough to cut something or someone out too, but some of you could be just dealing with an air sign. There's positivity here because there was transformation either within yourself or within this particular person. Or, that, or you let something in, like in that last spray. You let something in. You let something in so there could be a new beginning. That looks really good. Let it in, though. Whatever it is, you know. Put it into it. It looks like somebody is trying to tempt you. That first spray. Don't be tempted. Let that in and then move into newness. All right. Messages for Aries in career and finance. Career and finance. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Looks like you get a soulmate too. You know, that. Ace of water, two of water. Something that fulfills you on a soul level. Career and finance for Aries. Career and finance for Aries. Strength. Ten of fire. career and finance it looks like some of you may be laying down the burden 
having have the, the strength to move into newness being a bit confused but trusting in spirit that your wish fulfillment whatever that may be in your career and finance will happen for you because you have and you do pray and meditate and put and set your intention for this to happen a tower moment a shift in energy a breakdown in paradigm and a breakdown in faulty foundation will happen that will maybe bring you to the two of earth the two of pentacles to where you have to make a decision you're weighing up your options you're moving money from here to there But then you have celebration with the three of water. It's like you had to take a risk. And then the ace of water. Nice. Whatever it is, this fulfills you on an emotional level. You had to have the strength. The strength to take a risk. Lay down what no longer served you. What no longer served you. The ten of fire. So that. balance could come in to you so that you could make a decision and, and have clarity in doing so and have wish fulfillment nice this is really good it's like Aries you're going through a lot of shift in energy a lot of change but whatever this is it will fulfill you on an emotional level some of you are a bit uh, standoffish um, hesitant standing your ground in something queen of fire could be about a relationship you you will not be moved maybe with a cancer Pisces Scorpio or they have something to do with a career and finance for you Or something about them creating a firm foundation for you or with you. All right, let's get some cards of advice for Aries. It looks really good, Aries. messages of support support for Aries additional messages of support for Aries thank you for the messages of support for Aries retirement alright forgiveness New exercise program. Gracefully aging. Emotions. One more. Grief work. Bottom of the deck, join in. All right. So we got retirement here. This could be actual retirement. Some of you concerned with that or concerned with placing money away for retirement. Uh, this also could talk about, if not like the act of full-on retirement, this could talk about the number of hours you place into your work or your job will reduce because you're at that place where you can do that. Maybe you can start working part-time for whatever reason. You have money saved up. You, you would like to work part-time. You, you have something else you want to cultivate, you want to pursue. Uh, it, it could also talk about moving to a new job. Forgiveness, plain and simple. Either you need to accept forgiveness, um, accept someone's apology, and, and grant forgiveness or vice versa. You need to be forgiven. You don't want to hold on to that. That just, you know, it festers. It 
the unforgiveness festers and it, it, you, you're carrying it you know and you're harboring it you've given it a place to live and you don't want to do that new exercise program pretty self-explanatory hey it's spring now in the states so a lot of us are you know concerned about how we're gonna look on the beach so that's pretty relative to the time new exercise program gracefully aging talks about really um, checking yourself in regards to your regimen your exercise regimen your beauty regimen if there is one or lack thereof wardrobe are you dated are things dated for you also talks about um you know it's not something we always talk about but you know as you age the, you, you should mature in almost every aspect in in your style of dress um in everything you know um so that's something that's personal you know it's for you to figure out you know are you dressing your age whatever it really doesn't matter to me uh, emotions there emotions about something and it might be about this this forgiveness or unforgiveness um, you feel something you feel a, a way about something process those emotions and then we have grief work after that yeah you need to grieve whatever happened here with this for forgiveness unforgiveness emotions grieve it cry get it out speak about it but move forward. Can't move forward until you've done this. A lot of people skip this step and just want to move forward. Well, that didn't ha it didn't work like that. You're just pushing it down and not really dealing with it. Join in. You might need to join in a group uh, that can offer support in you know one or more of these areas. Uh, exercise, grief work, retirement. Join in. And this doesn't just talk about joining virtually because our life is all pretty much virtual. You can do everything on the internet. But this talks about joining in in the physical. Join a group of people that you have to interact with and have and exercise those social skills. With. All right? So those are your messages, Aries. I hope that this resonated with every Aries that view the video if it did not that's okay maybe another reader can pull your energy or check your moon and rising sign um or check back next week or next month it'll it'll all come together for you granted um remember aries when in doubt pray i'm praying for you pray for me as well take care and i'll see you in april